Okay, I'm just going to do a quick review of these um, prop guards that I bought from, from DGI. These are the original DGI ones. As you can see, um, prop guards have a cutout here for the front section. That's for the landing pads. They fit into there. Uh, the reason why I bought them is I just wanted them for indoors. And I suppose uh, the, the cons, uh, the pros for buying would be uh, if you've got kids or if you're flying indoors. Outdoors, probably around trees. And the other thing is you can see it, you can see it very easy, otherwise um, the DJI, DJI gets about 200 metres away and you can't see it, especially with clouds. Probably some of the cons would be the weight, uh, it does weigh it down a little bit but not much, but also the wind, if you're in low wind it's no problem, but higher winds, I suppose the winds would um, catch us a little bit more than without the prop guards on, so uh, that's another thing that you've got to consider. And um, what I found as well is uh, once you get 100 metres, if you clip these things on, you get 100 metres away and it says that you've reached the maximum limit. So what you've got to do is you go into the settings. I think it's, um, I'll go into it on the screen a bit later on, but it's in the payload section. So you've got to change that. So once you change the payload, then your drone will do the flight to its um, 10Ks or 7, 8, 9, 10Ks, whatever. But just remember that in wind, you're going to be running your battery low uh, with these things on because it, the wind resistance of these will cause a little bit more of a battery drain. Um, <clears throat> other than that, there are other guards that you can get, but I opted for these ones because they're smaller. You don't want um, too much wind resistance on your drone because you will lose a lot of the a lot of the um, battery power. So. Um, Yep, so what I'll do now is I'll show you how to clip them on. So what I do normally, I'll just show you the, the box quickly. There's the box that'll come in. See, so DJI. There are other brands that you can get, which is a full guard, but it's I think they're too heavy and too much wind resistance. So uh, I prefer to buy these ones. So what I normally do is um, you just push the propellers down like that on either side and then all you do is you've got these clips down both clips are down and as you can see it's, you loop it over the top there for the first one and through the bottom there you push it up just turn the propellers around again oops so they're quite easy to install and see this little clip here so that just clips straight down and you hear a snapping sound and there's another you see this one here you just flip that over and you push it down like that and that's one on it's pretty very easy to clip on and you do the same on the other side so you just put the propellers down like that put it straight over the top straight over the top in there that's the hardest one to get in is that front one the back one's just simple as to put it in once it's in you just clip it into place push it down a bit and clip it into place like that move the props out of the way like that flip this over and clip it down and there you have it and there's your drone with the prop guards on so underneath, just show you underneath, that's how they clip on there. It's clipped on there, it's clipped on. They just snap into place so that it's quite easy. And um, yeah, and also if, maybe if you've got birds attacking it, then the, maybe the birds have got more to grab hold of. But I think if you're flying through trees, definitely you want these on, otherwise your drone's going to hit the tree branch and maybe snap a prop and it might fall to the ground and might do some damage to it. I'm not exactly sure, but um, if it's higher winds, I usually take them off and fly it without the prop guards on. But these are these are fine. In, in low wind conditions, I, I probably recommend them because um, I fly around trees a fair bit. And because it's the DJI Mini 2, it doesn't have obstacle avoidance, so it's not going to see any trees. It only sees through the sensors at the bottom it has, which is these two sensors here. But um, I highly recommend them. 
you don't have to fly with it all the time but um, make sure when you do fly that you go into the settings in the payload section and, and clip um, turn the payload section on and it will um, adjust and it'll get the range out of it that you need okay I'll make another video in a second and we'll show it in flight and also show you the settings on the screen that you go into to to erect the problem of uh, the payload so here's the DJI Mini in flight with the guards on and I'll just go back into the wall so as you can see there's no problem at any any direction Guards are fastly held on. So just reverse into the wall again. So it's hitting the wall there. And there's plenty of room, plenty of distance that you can, um, can fly it at. So once you open up your DJI app, fly app, you'll see the three dots up the corner there. Once you go into your flight mode, uh, you see three dots up the corner, right hand top corner. So you click on that, this menu comes open which is under the safety menu and you'll scroll down to the bottom and you'll see advanced safety settings if you click on that you'll go into this menu scroll down the bottom again it says pay payload mode and it says um, this mode should only be enabled when using accessories like propeller guards and the aircraft is flying in wind free environments so all you do is you um, you turn that on if it hasn't automatically detected it uh, sometimes it doesn't I've, when I've flown it with it it hasn't detected it so um, you just turn that on and that blue light will come on there and just go back and you can should be able to fly more than 100 meters with um with that setting on okay i hope this helps <laughs>